Okay, this is just a quick shout out video to two young men whose arguments pro and con God are worth listening to. The guy here that's depicted as Epidemic 2020, really neat young man who really is trying to think through stuff. I've been subscribed to him for a long time. And then the other guy who I just learned about through Epidemic today is a guy who calls himself the One Janitor. Okay? He's taking an atheist position and he's basically saying, you know, how do you know that um, God is not illogical? How do you justify it in light of logic and science? And so then Epidemic is replying to um, one janitor. Okay, so here's one janitor representing the atheist position and he's making some really great points that I wish atheists would make. Okay, instead of this stupid argument about evolution which doesn't prove anything. Okay, versus epidemic who's, you know, basically talking about the problems of epistemology. Alright, so if you're interested in this debate on the right lines, okay, that'll actually get you somewhere in the thought process, then I would suggest subscribing to this guy, the one janitor, and I would sub suggest subscribing to Epidemic 2020, because they're talking about issues in understanding, all right, that don't require you to have to just chant the unprovable mantra of evolution. Because at best, evolution is only middle data. Because even if you say evolution is how everything exists, what you still have to account for is how did evolution get here? Okay, so then you didn't answer any questions. You've only accounted for the questions of how the, the middle checks in your checkbook got spent, but you didn't account for the initial deposits. All right? So then evolution can't help you. It doesn't help you prove God exists, and it doesn't help you prove God doesn't exist. And again, Genesis 1, verses 23 through 25 says God authored evolution for fauna, not for humans, for fauna. That God made man directly, that the human being is not biological, but a soul. That's in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, and Genesis 2, 7. So to the extent we're talking evolution, theists and non-theists, we're talking past each other. Okay? There are other ways as an atheist that you can maintain your position. First of all, the easiest proof you can say is, Hi, until I got proof of God talking to me directly in my head, I ain't believe in nothing. There. Fine. That's exactly the right reason to be an atheist. Period. You don't need any other justification. I wouldn't be a Christian if I didn't have proof of God. But I can't prove it to you. Because God doesn't do it that way. He proves himself to you inside your head. And that's what atheists have so much trouble with. Fine. Understood. I, there's no further answer to that. You want the proof, you have to ask the ceiling. Okay? But there are ways that you can reason out that God is a plausible idea. And that's from logic and to some extent from science, specifically math. And so that's why this guy's video from Epidemic is a good video to listen to, to get a sense of the issues, and why this guy who's representing the atheist side, the one janitor, he's really neat, okay, I really, I'm, I'm really grateful to find out about him, why you want to listen to him too, okay, so that we can get away with this I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of the irrational atheist and the irrational Christians. We need as rational atheists or rational Christians to get together and start talking with each other, not at each other. Because the irrational atheist and the irrational Christian are too loud. They're they're they're, you know, hijacking the debate and it's not fair to our children. Okay, so I'm going to shut up now because I'm sounding preachy. Alright? Subscribe to Epidemic if you think he's good or you want to. And subscribe to the one janitor if you think he's good or you want to. I'm subscribed to both.